Hello, everybody. It's Losers Finals time. We are back. And this time, it's going to be Luke facing off against Ivar. Uh, we just saw Ivar in a command, pretty commanding 3-0 win against Penguins. Um, and he's now coming into, I think this is a record finish for him in the monthly checkup, at a minimum, assuming he doesn't uh, advance to the grand finals here. But uh, Luke on the first player side is not going to make it easy. I believe uh, you, you are the expert, but I think he's might have gone to the finals with like Flindo before Snipe and, um, and the Whistle were maybe a long like way time back. Ago? Yeah, that's yes, possible. Way I, back when. I, I, my memory's not that good, you guys. Give me a break. I... We don't have a website for verses. <laughs> Right. Uh, well, I mean, we—it's all saved on challenge, but like, it's not like I'm—I'm I'm not keeping up on that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> these two are about to get started. Uh, we're about to see them kick it off here in just a moment. Yeah, signal to, uh, to change the music to off, of course. Now, when I see it, I'm just gonna think of like the additional <laughs> time you have. <laughs> all right, both players. Wow, starting off very similarly, but Ibar finding the combo first. And I think the way uh, Ibar set it up is the way that I, I kind of envisioned it too, of that instant um, setup for a combo. And it really is helping him get uh, quick to uh, further combos, but that was a nice find of a combo for, for Luke. It was, uh, which is which, which he really needed after the charity triple that, uh, that <laughs> Ibar got after some very unfortunate garbage. Starting off very evenly, no one really pulling ahead in the early game. Well, these are two of our speed um, competitors, so they might be leaning more on on the speed side of this game. Uh, well, I mean, you say that as uh, Luke begins getting stun locked pretty yeah. ferociously here by Ibar, and suddenly finds himself way behind. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, these are two of uh, some of the better speedrun players and two of the best versus players. Uh, that we have mm -hmm. that we've seen in the checkup, so it's no surprise, certainly. Luke's gonna find an amazing triple, proving my point instantly. Instant karma, you love it. Uh, <laughs> um, but he still has a ways to go. This left side is not looking Ooh. good. Very blue heavy, and uh, if he doesn't find the blues he needs. Oh, just as he overhangs exactly... in column four, he gets topped out! If you heard me go, <gasps> that's exactly what I was afraid of, and it did happen. Oh. You, you cannot do that with a player of the caliber of Ivar, he will take advantage of any little inch that you give him, and um, he's not my mid-boss for, for no reason, you know? <laughs> and again, you know, Luke... Oh, he's getting oh. very dangerously high in the top right. One more piece of garbage in column five, and he's gonna be losing, giving up another crown here. Oh, so close! Wow. He will get this blue over to the right just in time to drop things down into a little bit more safety, but he's starting to stack this red in column 5 vertically, and he's starting to run the same risk. Doesn't get a red! Doesn't get a red again! He's gotta and hurry this before, this, before this uh, get, uh, bites him. Yes, and this is when screenwashing your opponent just a little bit, Ivar could have turned on the gas and, and got a few combos going, but okay, Luke's safe for now. Still playing way high up on his board. Finally finds the red that he needs. Sometimes that happens, and that's why it's so risky to do that. Luckily, it didn't punish him, um, and he's still alive here, but it's still now massively behind after having to contend with that situation. Yeah, like... And he's still trying to get towards his viruses again. These, these empty combos trying to get ahead to where... Um, Stopping Ibar from sending over more combos, um, that's what he's trying to do, and doing actually a good job, honestly. The, this is now making Ibar kind of think and pause um, before firing off a combo. Okay, unfortunate garbage for, for Luke here in column 7. Now starting to really cut things off over there, and it, it, it always hurts to lose that sort of uh, horizontal space on your board. It just gives you less potential to make combos, less potential to make progress. It's it's never good, and in, in for a variety of reasons. Oh, that was a beautiful combo by Ivar, sending over four pieces of trash. Oh, and cutting off uh, some some useful. Um, areas for for Luke to ma maneuver so but finding a combo uh and sending some trash right back absolutely Ibar now 
uh, build up on the left side, but with some combos. Uh, I do believe that that blue-yellow setup is achievable if you, if you can blink or kick flip a pill over uh, at the right time, but it doesn't look like he's going to attempt to do that. He most likely is going to underclear with the reds, I would think. And for those uh, wondering what blink is, it's a maneuver where you can actually get the pill to go over uh, two columns, um, not... Yeah, like almost instantly, to where um, you can get it over there faster. Mm, not I'm only, not the best person to explain not only, it. Not, yeah, not only that, it can be, it's done with a single input on the D-pad, which makes it uh, a lot easier to do. However, it can only be should know, be know that it can only be done to the left. Don't ask mm. me why they made this game in 1990. What else do you want me to for me? Like that's <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, that's just how it works. <laughs> And we work within those those parameters for sure, <laughs> um, as well as the awful RNG that we have to work with as, as well. Luke is so, uh, making yeah, some. He's taking it back. He's making some progress here. Uh, the height on the board's almost even. I would say that uh, Luke's just got a lot to deal with in column seven and eight. So that if, if this does make it to the end game, it's going to be difficult for him to sort that out if he doesn't. Uh, find a way to, to deal with it horizontally, or at least maybe put up enough pressure on Ivar to give him enough time to do so. And we got a little bit of stats from uh, Flindo in the chat. Thank you, Flindo. Uh, Ivar won in February of 2023, um, and uh, Luke has finished third, um, so he's hoping to um, actually get past that right now. Fair enough. I mean, listen, just because I run this thing doesn't make me any sort of authority <laughs> on the the history or anything. Uh, yeah, I, it's, we've been going for a while now. I, I, this must have been quite some time ago, so apologies to Ibar. Uh, you, uh, you're clearly, uh, you're clearly really proving it right now with, uh, with his play tonight. Uh, he's now looking very strong here in game two, and if he keeps this up, uh, he could, uh, he could make it to the grand finals against Sniper, no problem. But, uh, Luke is gonna have to, <laughs> I'm sure he has something to say about that. Yeah, but both, uh, both players, uh, you know, kind of high on their columns eight, or on their, uh, right-hand side. Um... Ivar still working on the left-hand side, so focusing a little bit over there, uh, which could be um, could be a detriment. It's it's not proving to be so since Luke is not sending over any combos. But as I say that, <laughs> it's also important to note that because he spent so much time at the top of the board at the start of the game, uh, his pill speed is definitely increased here. We don't have the numbers visible to really see it, but uh, you can tell from how if looking if you're if you're familiar. It's, uh, it's definitely starting to pick up in pace, and uh, it's only going to continue to grow as the, the game drags out. Yeah, we talked about this game uh, reaching Tetris level speeds. It's not there yet, but um, that's always uh, what people are trying to, to work towards, is being able to maneuver a pill as fast as a Tetris piece. Mm -hmm. It doesn't always come up in these games, but when it does, it's, it's really, those are the most exciting games, I would say, for sure. I remember my my match with Sarah. That was one of the oh, best things right. ever. <laughs> you remember I remember. That I think I want to say we. Uh, oh no no! I think my, I might have that, VOD reviewed that one. With, I think that was the yes. one we did. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, and I had to do it because it was so crazy how fast things got. Yeah. Plug the YouTube. So that is on on your YouTube <laughs> um, as a a VOD review. And one of the other things that uh, Love does, not to take too much time, but. Uh, VOD reviews on Tuesdays, so uh, stay tuned for even more stuff after this tournament gets over of just amazing analysis of this game. <laughs> I will say that the VOD reviews have slowed down a little bit, but uh, uh, only because I'm just focusing on some other things at the moment that uh, might uh, come out in the near to far to never future, but you never know. I, I've just been, uh, you know, taking time to maybe retool the VOD reviews and focus on some other Dr. Mario related stuff that I hope will be uh, coming out soon. But uh, getting back into this match, Ibar, while ahead in virus count, Luke's board is suddenly looking a lot healthier and he has really taken the things that we were saying earlier to heart and uh, has really 
started the comeback here. If he can keep up the pressure and continue the, the, the rate of garbage that he's been sending over to Ibar, uh, he could very well snatch this one away because <laughs> Ibar's port is looking really atrocious now. He is going to make a huge uh, takedown on the left side on column one, but this blue virus in the very bottom left is horrendously buried, as are the rest of the viruses on that bottom layer, just completely crushed under this garbage here. Now this is the Luke that could beat Snipe. This is just <laughs> combo after combo, not relenting, stunlock after stunlock. So this is this is the one that should have Snipe scared. And um, hopefully we continue to see this. We are only on our second crown. This, this game is far from over, <laughs> and this is just insane playing on both, both players. Yeah, this is this is incredible. I, I feel I was saying before we started that Ibar's matches always seem to go the distance no matter who he's playing against. Uh, but I think both players are uh, are there to blame here in this case. But uh, Luke's oh, doing his Luke best to finish this out. What a Luke. huge combo! And he's gonna follow with another double. He's gonna send even more garbage. Oh, uh, and he sets up for the L instead. Oh God! Oh. These swaggy plays by Luke to bring it back to get this crown, That's tying good. it up. Game two for Luke, and that was so well played. He didn't let up on the combo pressure, even when his end game was very clear looking. It's, it's definitely uh, an, a mark of an advanced player to not lose sight of that in the moment. I love this game. <laughs> like this game or like the game of Dr. Mario? <laughs> or both, maybe? Both, but specifically, this is just... I, I'm excited to watch this, and and I'm excited to watch a lot of this game, but it's just, they're doing exactly what they need to, to continue to entertain and get back in this game. Oh, Luke facing some really tough garbage. He's going to put this yellow down in column one and two, just to make a platform to try to sort this out. Oh, oh but this garbage is going to drop things down, which still honestly kind of helps him a little bit, but now he's going to have to do some really unfortunate moves to try to figure this out and he's waiting for like the perfect fill and when uh, you're oh yeah unfortunately i think yeah luke That's just let it. this get away from him he just hesitated well not me not hesitated but just waited on a setup far too long and it punished him and he's gonna be now uh one game away from uh losing his chance to make it to grand finals here while well, ibar seems poised and ready to take it. you can tell he wants this mm -hmm. But I think Luke might want it too, because he's coming out of the gate strong here in Game 4. Mm -hmm. I mean, they both had uh, almost identical setups, so, uh, but... Oh, you know, yeah. Ivar waiting a little bit longer to, to fire his off, and now a little bit of struggle in that column. Oh, if he keeps up this pressure, this could be really bad. Ibar's now uh, has a really high up on both columns 4 and 5. Oh, oh he he's got to slide them over! The yellow. Oh. oh my god, do you want that down? It's not gonna take much. And now, now a quad, this is gonna be guaranteed center column garbage on Ibar, and that's gonna pop him out. We're going to game five. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god, this is incredible. The I cider for grand that. finals. Who's gonna get there? That they yellow in, in the center column if you would have dropped that, but decided not to. Again, these are, these are players that can combo big, and they just wait. Um, and to their detriment. <laughs> oh, Luke is gonna chain off about three doubles in a row here. This is incredible. But look at this. He is helping Ibar set up, hopefully, well, maybe a horizontal if he sees it with that red that will drop down into those yellows. He decides not to take it right now um, and just breaks that up a little bit, but wow. Just... He finds the red blue he needs to break down the setup he's got going on in the center of his board. Um, and uh, while it looked like he had a really strong start, uh, Ibar's really held on like a champ, and uh, things are looking quite even, if not in his favor. Very high up in column five now for Luke. He needs a blue very badly. He will get wow, there. To maneuver wow, that and stay calm in that, and to <laughs> now take down his board. That was wonderful playing by he's Luke. He's alive. He's still alive, and he's still fighting, and things suddenly looking even again. Finding another combo. Wow, I really thought one of them was going to top out, and I didn't even know which mm -hmm. one it was going to be, but now it looks like uh, both of them are in a healthy spot, and uh, they may very well make it to the end game here. Wow, what a game five so far. When uh, Ivar's a little bit cut out, uh, cut off from his 
his right hand side and covering up you oh. know setups that he's made but look at this <laughs> wow a cross clear into another cross clear to set up for a t it did get covered by trash by luke oh it's been but double covered but he's gonna get some pills to clear it out if he gets another blue red here now but he's gonna find a double on the side. Oh, it gets oh. covered again, and Luke is looking clean. This is looking very good for Luke here. Oh, Ibar needs a blue. He needs to get this horizontal down and but he's, center. He's waiting. And he's he's, he's he wants to make a combo forward. out of it. Oh, I think he's gonna get there. He does. Wow. And both players again looking very even. Neither of them missing a step here. This is the amount of risk I would not even take, and that means a lot. And so, the the fact that these players oh. are able to do this at the top of their boards... Oh, now Luke's getting... And now Luke like looks like he's in trouble. But they're both... <laughs> Just when one of them is in trouble, they start finding combos and good ones, too, that are making progress on their board to keep them alive. Wow. Column 6 looking dangerous. I am just speechless right now. <laughs> oh, I love this play by Ivar. Look at that. A horizontal into a drop clear, sending three pieces of garbage over to Luke. Luke is like, what? That didn't affect me. <laughs> Continuing to set up another combo. Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to call it, but I, I do think the pendulum is starting to swing the other way in favor of Ibar here. He's starting to, mm -hmm. his board is starting to look a little lower, a little cleaner. He just seems to be coming out on ahead of the on these exchanges just a little bit more than Luke is. Uh, but I mean, Luke's still finding the combos. He's keeping up the pressure. He, he just needs to address this column six. If he can get this down, and uh, then I think he he's right back in this. Looking for a red blue here for this setup in the center. He will find it and make a triple. Wow! <laughs> Beautiful. And all the while, uh, I was watching the trash that's falling on Ivar's side, and it it definitely did give him some some focus on where where he needed to play, and and so it's actually been helping in a lot of cases to find these horizontals to make this uh, make this a game and bring this down. He he's leading in the buyers count. And I, I think you're right, Lev. He he did make bring this back. Mm -hmm. I mean, Luke is not out of it, but this is the key moment. He has to really kick it kick it into high gear now. Uh, make sure mm -hmm. that he gets the combos he needs. Uh, if he if he lets up, he just needs to keep all the pressure he possibly can on Ibar before it's too late and his endgame is too close to being completed here. But he is looking for one more red to try to complete this combo setup he has. That's going to be a triple for him. Uh, I don't know if this, if this is covering up anything significant here, but uh, he's going to find another drop key, looking for some more yellows to get another oh, wow. combo. He's going to hold out. And he is causing Ibar to have to build And now his up. his endgame's looking really good, yep. Betty. I think he might be yep. able to do this. Yes. And oh, unfortunate garbage. He won't be able to get this blue right away thanks to the red, but he's going to find an amazing horizontal setup instead. This guy's incredible! But how is he going to attack that column one? Like, that, that's the that's thing. That's the is key now here, yeah. Yeah, he's going to want to clear all these yellows together, but I don't think that's the, the way to do it. And now, now Ibar just has oh, a few boy. horizontals he needs in order to get here, too. And clearing this is so smart. Um, oh, okay. the combo setup for Luke is covered. And Ibar just keeps finding it. I think this might be the last push that he needs. Yep, and that double blue is going to going to definitely do it. Wow, he oh, decides he's... to... Two reds, he can it's still get it on the top, can still, still get it underneath. And, and I don't think the, the umbrella to just stop Luke. And that's so unfortunate for Luke, but I think that's gonna it. be it. Ibar takes it three to two in a decider. Wow, what a game! What a Fantastic. match! Wow, congratulations to both of these players. That was unbelievable! Unbelievable. Uh, that was one of the uh, that was the best match of the tournament so far, yeah. without a doubt. Uh, I uh. I don't really have much to say other than that this is going to be one heck of a finals. Uh, Snipe versus Ibar, not a matchup I think that we've really seen. But again, I, you know, someone check the brackets. Maybe I could be <laughs> wrong about that. But uh, another uh, immunity pool, or actually, sorry, not an immunity pool uh, um, <laughs> preview. But Snipe is so good, you you you'd be surprised that it isn't. Honestly, 
Well, either way, won this tournament, you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. Well, either way, it's going to be a great match. We're going to get it ready. We're going to take a quick break before we get into it, uh, and we will see you all for the the final match in just a moment. Stay tuned, everybody. <laughs> 